Ken Morgan and Professor Arnold locate the stolen metallogen. But before Ken can recover it, he is attacked by hirelings of the treacherous Ernst. Suddenly... <laughs> Goodness, you're safe. I'm all right, but those two men who are with me in there are lost. No one could survive that explosion. And if the metallogen was in their possession, we won't be able to find any trace of it either. They had it with them, all right, which proves they were working for Ernst. Then we're beaten, Ken. That was all the metallogen known to exist. We'd better drive into town and notify the police. They'll want to investigate this. It's a good idea. It appears to me we ought to get this here rabbit to the junkyard now. In the first place, Professor Ernest has got the only control unit to make this rabbit work. And in the second place, we ain't got no mentalogen to make more of them in the first place. So where is it? I'm afraid you're right, Flash. We're stymied unless Professor Arnold can discover a new supply of that precious metal. Well, I'm a scientist, not a magician, Ken, so you're quite right about our being stymied. I'm afraid that robot will never work again. Afraid? Why, Professor, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Then let me go. Let me go. Let me go! What's the matter with them? He and the robot just had their usual misunderstanding. Look what it says in today's paper. Read that. Science triumphs again. Secrets of Earth yield a new device. Dr. John Draper of Marshalltown University eminent geologist and inventor of many scientific instruments, today announced his newest device. Draper claims he'll be able to detect the presence of meteorites which may have crashed to Earth and buried themselves into it long before the dawn of civilization. Read that line. That's a really an interesting one. It's from certain meteorites that the rarest of all elements, metallogen, is obtained. Well, if Draper can substantiate his statements, our problem may be solved. You're right, but listen to this. It is recalled that metallogen is the essential element of a robot recently invented by Professor Franklin Arlen of the Bainbridge Laboratories of Harrisville. However, lack of commercial supply of this mineral has crippled manufacture, arrangements for which has been previously completed. I suggest that you call this Dr. Draper long distance right away. By all means, Dad. You're right. I'll do it now. Long distance. I want to talk to Marshalltown, to Dr. John Draper. Well, what is it? Yes, yes, yes. This is Dr. Draper. Who? Oh? Professor Arnold. Oh. Oh. Yeah? Well, I understand your difficulties, Arnold, and I'd like to help you. But I'm very busy. Well, of course we expect to compensate you and we'll make any reasonable arrangements. Well, that's up to you, Doctor. Just name the day. That's very nice of you. 
I'll be expecting it. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. He's going to wire me later in the day, just when he'll arrive here. I'm so glad he agreed to come. Shall I arrange for his hotel accommodations? Oh, you'd better not. What we select might not please him. He seems to have a peculiar disposition. As far as I'm concerned, he can have a flat head. Just as long as he gets some intelligence for us. Mm -hmm. Now don't stand there knocking all day. If you must disturb me, come in. Dr. Draper? Who are you? What do you want? My name is Anderson. I represent certain Western mining interests which have sent me here to consult with you as to the possibility of acquiring your new invention. You're too late. I've already made a deal with someone else. I told you I made other arrangements. Arrangement with whom, Dr. Draper? With a Professor Arnold in Harrisville. Have you any of your business? Now, will you be kind enough to leave? I'm sorry to seek assistance, but this is a matter of great importance to my colleagues. In spite of your commitment to this man, Arnold, if you could find a little time for us, we'd make it worth your while. Not interested. And if you persist in wasting my time, how am I going to check this detector? I'm leaving tomorrow and have a great deal to do to get ready. I bid you good day, Mr. Anderson. Good day, Dr. Draper. Just one thing more, Doctor. In case your deal with Arnold shouldn't go through, where in Harrisville can I contact you? At the Standard Hotel. Now get out. Thank you. My word for a Flint. When I get through with this makeup, Draper's own mother won't be able to tell me from her son. You sure fool me with that beard. Did you pack my suitcase? Yeah, I put in everything you told me. You didn't forget the shortwave radio and the microphone? That's in there, all right. Fine. Now, give me my hat. Well, 
I'd better be on my way. Better let me out. Leave it open. You'll have to come back this way to phone the Standard Hotel. To reserve a room for Dr. Draper of Marshalltown. You see, I remember my orders. You'd better remember them. And don't forget to tell Nordic I want to see him shortly. Right. You're Professor Arnold? Yes, I am. I am Dr. Draper. Well, this is indeed a pleasure, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Won't you come in? Now that the preliminaries are over, let's get down to brass tacks. By all means. I'm even more impatient than you to consummate a deal. I'd like you to meet my associate. Ken Morgan, Dr. Draper. How do you do, sir? As I explained over the phone, we are prepared to pay any reasonable amount for the use of your invention. Reasonable? From my point of view or from yours? Well, there's, there's no good reason why we shouldn't be able to come to terms. I have drawn up a rough form of contract by which I acquire a 25% interest in any profits resulting from the utilization of my invention. That's a stiff price you're asking, Doctor. Take it or leave it. Seems to me you've got us over a barrel. Wait a minute, Professor. I'm beginning to think we don't need Dr. Draper after all. You've already demonstrated that your instrument can locate metallogen in its pure form. Why not then give it a trial and see if it will lead us to a meteorite, which by your own admission contains a certain amount of that precious mineral. I've tried that, Ken, but it won't work. Why not? Because the meteorite contains so little metallogen compared with other substances that my detector isn't sensitive enough to react to it. I see. Do I understand you already have discovered some metallogen? Discovered isn't the word. We tried to recover it, but it was destroyed by a demented scientist who calls himself Professor Ernst. Isn't that rather a crude way to talk about a man of science? Man of science, my eye. The man's a thief and a murderer. And I'd like nothing better than to get my hands around his neck. Gentlemen, these arguments get us no place. Dr. Draper has a price. It seems to be up to us to meet it or turn it down. Precisely. Still, before we sign anything, I'd like to know if Draper's instrument will do what he claims. I'm willing to give a demonstration. That's fair enough, isn't it? Go ahead. That's an excellent idea. I need a half hour to make some minor adjustments in my detector. When I've finished, we can drive out to the rock quarry in Greenwood Canyon. Uh, that's where I made my first test a couple of years ago. Well, since we expect you to be here for a while, Doctor, I'll throw you to a room where you can do what you want in complete privacy. Keep this room locked up, Doctor, and your telephone is a private line. This will do. If you'll excuse me. If there's anything you need, let us know. I will. Okay, I'll get started right away.
Where do you think you're going? Where's the vet? That was him who just called me. I gotta take Clo over there and get him a shot for his asthma. Oh. I made my earlier test here. I detected traces of a meteorite underneath that overhang of rock. doesn't seem to show any reaction. I forgot the little antennae that fits into the socket. I'll get it out of the car. of destruction? What evil designs has this arch fiend on Professor Arnold and his daughter? Don't fail to see a fiend in disguise, the sixth exciting episode of The Monster and the Ape at this theater next week.